Wow, let's go. Do you like lime lollipops? I love them and so do my students. But which ones are better? The New Zealand ones from Sam's Club or the Australian ones from Costco? Let's go find out. All right, lots of meat here in our Sam's Club in City of Industry. This is what I came to find for. Look at this. Beautiful lamb lollipops. And uh, I usually try to find like the biggest pack I have because the big, the heavier ones have bigger ribs in them. And uh, these are grass fed, raised without hormones or antibiotics. So looks like uh, this one is the biggest one here. 25, okay, 2.32 pounds. All right, we're gonna go back and show you guys what we're gonna do with these little puppies. <laughs> Driving up to Costco, and uh, we're gonna get some uh, Australian lamb lollipops now. And uh, we're gonna do an AB test, show you guys how to cook a lamb lollipop. And uh, super easy recipe, just has uh, two ingredients. It's gonna be awesome. Triple A parking lot in Diamond Bar, and guess why I'm here? We need a special ingredient to cook our lamb lollipops. Uh, first things first, we need to retrieve the tool needed for the job. So in my glove compartment, my car, I always carry a pair of scissors and a uh, Ziploc bag. We are going to find a nice rosemary bush in this parking lot. And what I'm looking for is fresh rosemary growth, kind of like this one's here away and uh, you want to find fresh green ones so like these ones won't work so these have kind of like bugs on them see that here all right so no no cobwebs here oh I like this one all right see all the fresh growth so we can use some of the rosemary here okay so this one has some cobwebs at the bottom we don't want that so we're gonna just pick the top most tender shoots lamb ribs and our Australian lamb ribs. So this is about just over two pounds. You get one rack, just over two pounds on the New Zealand and you get two racks. So we're gonna basically let them sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. If you wanna let it sit overnight, it's great. We have no salt on our lamb. We only have garlic and rosemary. And uh, these two herbs will give it a really nice flavor. So we'll let it sit and we're gonna go ahead and after that, smoke it in a 275 degree pit, get a little bit of smoke in it. Once the internal, internal temperature is around 100 degrees, we're gonna take it over to the grill and char it, and these will all be lamb lollipop perfection. <laughs> So they have cooled down a little bit before I do my taste test. So the method of tasting cooked meat, I'm gonna use uh, something that I learned as a certified barbecue judge. We judge uh, food that we taste based on three criteria. First one is appearance, how good it looks. Second is the uh, taste, which is the flavor. And the third is the tenderness. Australia is twice the size of the New Zealand one. So in terms of look, I would say they are about equal. So on appearance, uh, it would be a tie. Let me do a taste test now, an attendance test. Let me bite the Australian one first. Mmm. Nice smoke. Super tender. 
Where do you see? You see the juice dripping? Great meat flavor. You know it's lamb. I felt the uh, aftertaste of the gaminess of the lamb. Second bite, second impression. So overall, very good. The saltiness penetrated the meat. I can taste the rosemary. Uh, there's a hint of garlic. So very, very nice combination of just some salt, some good some barbecue rub, uh, some rosemary, and uh, some fresh garlic. So very good. All right, so my turn now to on the New Zealand lamb. Wow, that's good. So, very good New Zealand lamb. You know, I have to say the tenderness um, is a little bit more tender. So kind of like, this is a bigger animal, this is a small animal. So, the tenderness tastes like this is a baby lamb. So it's got that nice kind of softness and tenderness to it. Flavor-wise, maybe just a touch less gaminess compared to the Australian lamb. Uh, flavor, a little bit milder. So, between the Australian lamb and New Zealand lamb, here are my final thoughts. If you like tenderness and softness, go with the New Zealand lamb. If you like a little bit of hint, more hint of gaminess from the lamb, the Australian lamb lollipop has a stronger lamb gaminess. This is a little bit milder. So if you're serving your family members who don't like uh, some strong gamey flavors and smells, pick the New Zealand. If you like that really kind of in your face, uh, kind of more in your face kind of lamb gaminess, pick the Australian. But, but both are good. They are all comparably priced. Uh, what you do do is you get only one rack for the same for about $25 from Costco and you get basically two racks for the same price about $25 from Sam's Club. So the choice is yours. Uh, I hope you like this video and found it useful. If you like my channel, please like it. And uh, if you have any more questions about comparisons and products, let me know and I'll go ahead and feature them. Thanks a lot.